Hey Love Tribe, welcome, welcome to Sarita's Intuitive Love Guidance. My name is Sarah. I'm going to be doing the Daily Divine Masculine Check, see what is going on with our masculines today. I did want to announce that your sis is engaged. My boyfriend, which is now my fiance, proposed to me this weekend and I am totally in shock. Did not expect it at all, which I am grateful that I, my spidey senses didn't tingle or I got any downloads or visions, which I honestly asked my spirit team and didn't even talk to him about it because I just honestly did not want to receive any information about it because I really wanted it to be a surprise. And so, yeah, um, I am engaged and it's still very surreal for me to believe that I am a whole fiance now. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started. See what is going on with our masculines today. Woo. Wow. So we have a five of cups energy. Whoa. And a three of swords. This masculine is definitely in a space of resentment. They're definitely feeling some pain, some turmoil. I do feel with the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords that maybe there was some pain-inflicted words. Swords represent our thoughts and communication and maybe it was pain inflicted by words or actions. And there's just a lot of grief. I do feel like this masculine is feeling a lot of regrets, failures, disappointment, very pessimistic. I definitely see that the cups are spilt. So it is a symbolic of his disappointments and failures and behind him stands two cups representing new opportunities and potential but he's so fixated over his losses and missed opportunity that was available to him by you and so i do feel like right now this masculine is maybe in this very nostalgic thinking about you and we are in mercury retrograde so a lot of things that are happening that the masculine could have been suppressing or thought they have let go is coming to the surface. Let's see one more energy of how the divine masculine is feeling. And so we have the three of cups. And so there is an energy of this masculine wanting a reunion. Could be a third party situation. And so this masculine is trying to get in their thoughts about how to reunite. But I feel like some of these masculines are so in this pessimistic energy that they're definitely in a fear, doubt, worry mentality or missed opportunity. Let's see what these energies are about, though. What is this Five of Cups energy that this masculine is feeling towards Divine Femmes? There's definitely some personal setbacks. So we have Until Debt Tear Us Apart. So right now I feel this masculine definitely is feeling some missed opportunity due to from kind of a career commitment, a marriage contract, relationship contract, past relationship contracts some kind of commitment some of these lessons may have to have left because of a career commitment but i do see this is over an energy of a pisces cancer scorpio which cups energies are pisces cancer scorpio there's a lot of new opportunity new love here that they're wanting but there is some kind of struggle that they're dealing with. Tell me more about this Five of Cups energy. Ghost and Vanish. And that's the thing. I feel like some of these masculines disconnected. They're so disappointed in their failures or loss or missed opportunity that they ghosted you. They withdrawn. They disconnected and it almost feels like a rejection it almost feels like they didn't care but they do care it's just they're more in that pessimistic 
side versus seeing those two cups of potential and new opportunity. And so they've been very hot and cold and inconsistent. What is this Three of Swords energy that this masculine is feeling towards Divine Femmes? Family and commitment and home. So there is some pain that is stemming from maybe a marriage, a past marriage, could be a current marriage. Could be wanting a family or their own family issues from childhood that has caused a lot of pain for them to kind of have a stable relationship. And so there could have been a lot of deception here with this masculine. I don't know if there was some temptation of them keep reaching out. There's some kind of lurking energy. So I do see them lurking on you, Divine Femmes. Tempted to say something. Tempted to communicate. Some of these masculines are going to be coming home, visiting, or moving back. Tell me more about this Three of Swords energy. Ooh, look at this cat eye energy with this energy of this person. I do feel that they are scared of judgment, scared of being judged, scared to come towards you and be accountable because they know they have caused a lot of pain and hurt divine femmes and a lot of mind games and illusions. So they want to come in and apologize, but they feel like it's an excuse or you may state it feels like an excuse and you're tired of this back and forth and never ending cycle. What is this three of cups that this masculine is wanting? What is this reunion, reuniting? Some of you may be going out with friends and may run into the masculine or some of you... Some of these masses are going to want to take you out for some drinks and some kind of celebration. What is this Three of Cups? And Divine Femmes, they may see you leveling up. Wow, look at this party energy. Three of Cups, look at this. It definitely seems very mirrored. And so some of these masses also could be out partying a lot. Trying to distract themselves, but... They do know that they are trying to heal some kind of connection with you. I do see some of these masculines have some kind of mommy issue. Maybe this is a single mom with no daddy or they're just dealing with some kind of mommy issues. And they're kind of lacking some kind of courage and strength to come towards you. But I feel like some of you may run into this person. What is this Three of Cups energy? Oof. Humility. So there's going to be some kind of communication that they're going to want. And I feel like if you run into them out in public, there's going to be some kind of humility of an apology. Some truth that's going to be spoken of. Because there is a lot of chaos and confusion and they know that they need to talk. They know that they need to untangle this situation and confess some things or express some things that you need clarity on that has caused a lot of space and distance between you and the masculine. What is Divine Masculine's major emotions towards Divine Femmes? Deceive. I've been lying to myself and you. And that's the thing. This masculine has been very deceiving. Not really being completely honest with the deception deception energy right here. I feel like they've been hiding some things. Hiding who they truly are as well. Because this person's face is not there. But then you also see a shadow of a Pinocchio energy. And you keep catching this masculine after lies, after lies, after lies. And you're kind of tired of it. I wouldn't even say kind of. I feel like you are so over it. And some of these masons, if they you're not in communication, I feel like they have been lying to a third party or to themselves. They've been betraying themselves, deceiving themselves of not being able to live in their truth and be authentic and show up for themselves and whoever they're around. 
Spirit, tell me more about this deceit energy that this masculine is feeling. Roller coaster. So we do have high is high, adrenaline rush. I feel like this masculine likes the chase, the fun. They're very hot up and down. Maybe when it comes to being serious, they have a hard time admitting the truth. They like to have a lot of fun. They like to chase the highs in life. But I do feel there's going to be some kind of pop-up unexpected surprise visit like i said i feel like some of these masculines either are gonna pop up and communicate wanting to come in and meet up for drinks to talk or pop up at your house or there is going to be an unexpected run-in on each other Let's see what this pop-up energy is about. What is this pop-up energy that this masculine is going to be doing? Destiny, guys. I do feel like there may be an energy of the stars are going to cross and align for you. I feel like this is something very divine. And you're going to be like, what in the world? What is this coincidence? And some of you may have like some kind of one night stand. Maybe y'all going to go out for drinks and kind of get in the heat of the moment because the drinks and the emotions are flowing. I'm, that might may not be for everyone's situation. What is this pop up energy? Tell me more. Divine timing and timing factor. Wow. So definitely there's going to be some kind of alignment for you, Divine Femmes, with this masculine. Tell me more about this pop-up energy. I promise. Wow. So this masculine may be coming up wanting to talk about the relationship. Wanting the stars to align again with this relationship. And so this may be a timing factor. Maybe an energy of finally this masculine may be coming back around. Gave you some time to really think and contemplate some things. But ultimately, they're not ready to let you go. And so they're going to try to negotiate some things with you. Interesting. So let's see some letters and numbers and answer oracle. Take it however it resonates. This is Divine Guidance Tarot deck. It may mean something to you. If it doesn't, then disregard it. But let's see what messages come out. We have a letter H. So H may be very significant. Maybe the person you're thinking of is name H or your name or their last name. And then we got 111. Pay attention to your thoughts in this time and stay positive. You may be getting a lot of angel numbers, 1111, what other messages is coming through? Wow, 888, finances and change are changing. So Divine Femme, some of you may be landing a gig, maybe having some kind of career change, but for your good, okay? So if you've been worrying about something financially, know that there are some changes happening and that you are spiritually protected and right on the on, and on the right path. Um, what else do we got here? Spirit. Two cards. We have, wow, 999 endings of karmic cycle. Mm. And we got a J. Maybe Joy. Maybe Jaden. Maybe um, Giselle. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And something about November. Maybe significant for someone. Maybe there's something coming up November. Maybe someone's birthday is in November or anniversary or something may have happened in the past November. What else we got? And we got a C. So someone's name may start with a C. And we have E, D. Okay. What letters do we have here? So these are the numbers that we got. Um, and we got November. And these are the letters. 
page E D J. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I thought you could see. And so let me go ahead and close this up with an advice. So what advice do we have for the divine femmes who are watching? Ooh, discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So this is just either a reminder to stay disciplined, stay on course, continue to have complete faith in the entire process. Know that there may be something better coming your way and stay the course. I know it may be easy to kind of either act out, act out of ego, or do something that maybe will steer you off your course. But it's spirit saying continue to stay disciplined if you haven't already. And know that everything that has happened in your life is... For your highest good and that we have to stay in that state of gratitude even when we feel ungrateful sometimes, unworthy, or just don't see why you're kind of going through something right now. And I know it may be hard, but it is an opportunity to kind of expand your consciousness and your own awareness and know that everything happens for a reason. And yeah. All right, guys. Well, much love to you all. Bye, guys.